The Edmonton Oilers get a much-deserved win after a puck-don't-lie loss to the Ottawa Senators, which much stuff occurred that probably didn't help their odds of losing that game. The Ottawa Senators definitely got some stuff going in their favor, but that's not what we're going to talk about here today. The Edmonton Oilers definitely got what they wanted to do, a much-needed win against the Winnipeg Jets here last night. But we also have another major story that is a lot bigger than what most people are going to think and probably even realize, and that's the controversy with Zach Hyman. And that's what I want to talk about here today as well as the game. So before we get into all of that news, we noticed that 97% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. If you're looking for a spot to get all your Edmonton Oilers news, you're in the right spot. Hit the sub button, join us along in this journey as we watch all of the news from the Edmonton Oilers occur, and we'll keep you up to date with every single bit of it. But let's start off here with the game, the lesser news of it, but a much-needed win nonetheless. And I'll pull up the box score here. Once again, it's always going to be at the bottom of the screen. If you do not want to pause here, and you can just scroll through the video and uh, continue to watch it there. But as you can see, uh, you know, not too much of a, an eventful game, I could say, but a much-needed one with another Zach Hyman goal, tallying up to 51. One of the only minuses on the team, uh, or I say one of the few, Connor McDavid, still two assists, still Connor McDavid, still the best in the league, no doubt. Cody Cece, still not a great game, you know, I'm kind of nitpicking here, and the defense certainly needs to tighten up, but none, or, um, you know, excuse me, uh, Overall, it was a pretty solid game from the Edmonton Oilers. One thing I just want to mention is that the defense, I think, needs to tighten up a bit. And a lot of that comes from here, from this uh, the stat card screenshot. You can see uh, a lot of defensive uh, mishaps, a lot of negatives on the defensive side of things. But, you know, the Edmonton Oilers are lucky enough to be able to have such an incredible offense that they could turn it around even in a pretty uh, bad defensive game. So, you know, one thing I think that the Edmonton Oilers need to fix, and I'm sure many of you fans know what the Edmonton Oilers need to fix, is that the defense needs to tighten up just a bit. You know, that's really one of the big things. It's not everybody, as you can see, Matthias Ekholm, always near the top of this list here, but it certainly needs to just tighten it up on uh, many different categories of the defense. But, you know, overall, I think the Edmonton Oilers definitely got the win they needed. I think this is going to continue you, um, you know, now that they kind of got that monkey off their back after the Ottawa game where uh, a few phantom calls uh, occurred and a lot of stuff that didn't go the Edmonton Oilers way, but, um, you know, exactly what they needed here, beating one of the top teams uh, against the, uh, or being the Winnipeg Jets, who are actually very good at home. So this is going to be um, a very good, you know, assessment here for the, uh, the Edmonton Oilers going further into the season, nearing the end, I guess you could say, actually. But once again, you know, the 4-3 to overtime win uh, with Zach Hyman getting another goal, um, you know, only adding to really what we're going to be talking about here now, which is going to be uh, quite, quite, the, uh, quite the story. So bear with me here, but I'm sure many of you know uh, what is going on here with Zach Hyman. If you don't, I'll be breaking it down here. Yeah, but simply, as you can see right here, this is ridiculous. What this guy says about Zach Hyman, the the real reason he scored fifty goal fifty goals, excuse me, and this is just this is just unbelievable. So bear with me here as I read through this. But as you can see here, Andrew Berkshire. This is a video. I'm gonna kind of give you a little breakdown of what he says in this video. I'm not gonna post it or uh, you know put the video here, put it all there. But he says. In media, we have a responsibility to tell stories, but too often, they're just not honest. The narrative around Zach Hyman's first 50-goal season, for example, erases the real reason it was possible. It wasn't just hard work. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more. But don't do that. You know, just don't do that. And also, you can see at the bottom, 6.4 million views. So this definitely made its way around the hockey world. A lot of people responded to this. A lot of negative feedback towards this man. Uh, about this whole situation. So basically what the video was about, if you have not seen it, is that he says Zach Hyman's 50-goal season was because he was raised uh, in a wealthier family. You know, he had the opportunities that many didn't because his family, his family had uh, a lot of money, which gave him a lot of opportunities. Now, you know, obviously money gets you opportunities. That's the world we live in now. That's exactly what, you know, it makes sense. That's what makes sense. But in no way does being raised in that kind of situation, make you score 50 goals in the NHL. You have to still put the work in to be able to get to that point. You can't just buy your way into the NHL. You can buy your way into minor hockey, whatever like that. You cannot buy your way into the NHL. You know, it don't matter if I paid an NHL team, there ain't no way I'm getting 50 goals. No chance. You know, that's just as simple as, 
as reading a, reading a book, you know, to put it into simple terms. But this is absolutely ridiculous, putting it in the way that he is not deserving of 50 goals because his family was raised uh, with money, you know. That don't make sense. That really don't. It still takes an insane amount of effort to make your way into the NHL, then to get another insane amount of effort to get a 50-goal season. You know, it's definitely more common now than it was um, the past few seasons, but it's still only a handful of players able to do this. And what we've seen from Zach Kyman going from the Maple Leafs, then to the Oilers, he's definitely put the work in to achieve that. You can tell that he's playing with his, uh, you know, the uh, Matthews line in uh, Toronto definitely helped him a bit. Now playing with Dryside and McDavid, that still definitely helped him a bit, but that don't compare to, you know, a different team or whatnot. That still is a lot of effort to put in. McDavid can definitely give you a few goals. Marner, uh, Matthews can definitely give you a few goals. Dryside can definitely give you a few goals, but they're not going to get you 50 goals just because you're on a line with them. No, that's a lot of effort going into that, and you have to praise Zach Heimer for that because he put a lot of effort in, and you can see this throughout his entire NHL career. Now, I have a few quotes here as well. This is from some replies as well as, um, you know, just some takes on it, but there's a lot more too, so I do recommend going and looking and giving a quick read at those because it really puts a, a whole different insight on this. So this one here is from Bobby Ryan. Um, you know, I'm sure many of you guys know who he is, Ottawa Senators, like a lot of teams in the NHL, whatnot, but he says, as someone who has maybe lived on both ends of this financial edge, I can say that this is just purely false. Who cares? He accomplished a feat not many do, and to downplay the way he it's reported is just wrong. You show up, do the work, good things happen, only message. And absolutely agree with Bobby Ryan here. You know, you can't, like I said, you can't buy your way to a 50-goal season. You have to put the effort in, and taking away from that accomplishment that, like Bobby Ryan said, only a handful of players get, you know, in, in an NHL history, you know, not just in a season, not just on a team, in NHL history... That's something that, you know, is just not the right way to put it. You have to give him the credit, the work he's put in, and we've been able to see, if you've been watching hockey over the past few seasons, you've been able to see it since Zach Hyman made his way into the NHL, the effort and the level of you know competition that he's put into this game since that. As well here, another one from Ryan Whitney. He goes, I've never seen hockey Twitter all agree on one thing until today when that doofus made a video about Zach Hyman scoring 50 goals because he got a Range Rover for his 16th birthday. Same thing, you know, the same, the same mantra, I guess, as you can say from Bobby Ryan and what pretty much everybody else is saying. You know, I really haven't seen one person disagree with any of the statements that were made in, in response to this. So, you know, like both of those guys said, and like if you go and look at any other replies to that video, they're all pretty much the same thing. It still comes with a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and you could just tell how much Zach Hyman, how much it meant to him when he got that, how much it meant to his teammates, and he's just a player that will put the work in. If he wants to achieve it, he certainly will. So, you know, I do apologize for the little rant here, but I got I wanted to get my point across and, you know, especially being an Oilers channel, this is definitely one that a lot of people are going to have some opinions on. So well, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation. It's definitely a crazy one, but it seems to be that all the people in response to this are on the right side of it, uh, all disagreeing with that original posted video. So that's the main thing. Zach Hyman, absolutely deserving of that 50-goal season. It's because of hard work, dedication, and the effort he's put in in his entire career, not because he grew up with more money than most people you know that don't matter at all that's history now but once again he's well deserving of this 50 goal season absolutely fantastic for him and very happy that he's done that so you know like i said let me know what you think but that's all i got here in this video if you did enjoy make sure you give the video a like make sure hit the sub button as well uh, if you want to get stay up to date with all the oilers news i know this isn't really uh some news but this is one that needed to be discussed here on this channel so you know like i said let me know what you think but thank you for watching hope you have a great day see you later